McIntyre News. I am your host, Emma. Tonight's top story is the spring musical, The Lion King. We will begin with Javante and Ms. Decamps. Well, Mrs. Decamps tells our viewers what you are working on. Well, right now we're getting ready for The Lion King play. Mm -hmm. And it takes a lot of people and a lot of time to get ready for it because we have to plan what the actors are going to wear for their costumes and face paint. We're going to have to do the backdrops to show the different scenes in the play. And we are also going to be working on props that they're going to handle so we know what the actors are actually doing at that scene. How many students do you have helping you and how often do you meet to work? We work about four days a week and we usually are here for about an hour. I do have some kids come in after that so we can do face paint. Um, to make sure that we have the timing right for the night of the play. But we also have about 70 students who take turns coming. So I have about four or five students a night that will come and help me, whether it's the backdrops, the costumes, or the set. As you can see, Mrs. D is helping those kids with love, with a love of art blossom as they help behind the scenes. This is Javante reported. Report. Our next segment comes from the music room. Hannah, tell us what you're doing. I'm in the music room with Miss Broadway as she is planning for the spring musical. Tell us, Miss Broadway, how, how do you find the kids to be in the musical? Well, we have auditions every year, and everybody who auditions gets a part. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, sometimes that means that we have a lot of chorus members, lots of villagers, lots of, um, in this case, lots of different kinds of animals, but everybody who wants to be involved can be involved in some way. How many students are going to be in the Lion King? Oh gosh, well, we have a little bit over a hundred students that are in the actual musical, and then there, gosh, there's a lot that help Mrs. D Camp too. Some of them are in the musical and help Mrs. D Camp with set and costume and props. Um, I don't know the total number. I, I just know that we have over a hundred that are in the actual musical, which is amazing that so many people can be involved. Is there anyone, like, when people audition, is everyone allowed to be in it, or is there, like, a certain number? Nope. I take anybody and everybody who wants to do it, so... I think that's awesome that we are able to do that and, and find a way to involve everybody. Yeah. How often do they have to practice and when do the practices begin and take place each year? Well, we start practices about two months, three months, two to three months before the uh, performance date. And it depends on the part. Not everybody will have practice every day, but they everybody gets a schedule that tells them when to be here and how long and yeah so it depends on the part wait are they allowed to uh, do do some have to stay over like an hour or two practice? as we get closer to performance our our practice ends up being about an hour and a half long that week of the performance but right now it's about an hour Wow. Miss <laughs> Bradway is busy here ready, getting ready for the show on March 24th. I know she and all the students are excited to perform. We are. Wonderful segment, Hannah. Miss Broadway sure is planting seeds for kids to love music and theater. Our final interview comes from the cast, and to bring that here to us is Taylor. Thanks, Emma. I'm here with Carter and Hayden, who have been working on the part of Scar and Hyena. Tell me, Hayden, what year did you start participating in the spring musicals? I started participating in the spring mu musicals when I was in second grade. What part are you playing in the musical this year, Carter? Well, I'm playing a scar, and i got to be prepared for that part. If you guys had one thing to tell those who may not have tried this year, either because they are too young or because they didn't try, what would you guys tell them? They do not know what they're missing out on. That's great. Well, Hayden and Carr, I can't wait to see you perform at Champ Auditorium on the big stage. As you can see, we are offering many opportunities for the fine arts here at McIntyre School. We would love to invite all of you to come watch us on March 24th at 7 p.m. at Champ Auditorium. As McIntyre School presents The Lion King, this is Emma saying have a wonderful Wednesday.